Patrick, a lot of us have railroad tracks around the holiday mm -hmm. tree and uh, we put them away and maybe there's going to be problems next year. How can you lessen the number of problems you might have with a train set? I think a little bit of maintenance ahead of time will help mitigate that. In this case, I'm working with HO scale trains. The, the same principle would apply to Lionel or MTH or other sizes too. Take the cap off a little bit of oil here. I'm using a, a synthetic lubricating oil. Um, this is Labelle 107. And I would just, like on the gears of a steam engine, just put a tiny drop on the gear. Just barely see it. And that will help it keep running, but it will also help keep it loose while it's in storage. Gotcha. Um, the less you, you use, the better. Because it could pick up dirt. And it can pick up yeah, dirt, yeah. yeah. So you just want a little bit. And that little bit I put on there, which is the tiny drop on each joint, um, is enough to preserve it. So if you were to store them in the basement and that basement was damp, that's not a good mix. That's not a good mix. You want to store it in a place that's dry. Um, so on a diesel engine like this, this is one of our um, engines that's been around for a while. And again, uh -huh. I would come in and just a little bit of oil right there. That's the electric right motor, yeah? Electric motor, a little bit there. And then on the ends, that's kind of hard to see on this one, but just a little drop right there, a little drop on this one. And then you can also pop these off and put a little bit of oil or a synthetic gear lube on the gears, gotcha. just a little bit. I love that kind of disperser, that kind of little uh, bottle. Yeah, it, very it's, it works very nice. Because um, you don't want the three-in-one oil with a huge great no, spout. No, you everywhere. want to use as little as possible because what, what you do use is just going to attract dirt. And, but you want enough to lubricate it, but not enough to attract a lot of dirt. Gotcha. Um, for the track, if you want to clean the track, which it's good to do before you put it away, I just use a track cleaning eraser. This one is from Pico. Um, it's what's left Ooh. of one. <laughs> it's had a lot of use. I keep that one in my pocket all day. It's got like a little bit of grit, a little, a little mineral bit of grit, in it, yeah. and it's rubber. Yeah. Kind of um, eraser like. Walters makes one called a Bright Boy. But you just come in and just, you know, put a finger over each rail and push. And just you kind of go back and forth. You don't want to use um, metal like a, scra a scrubbing pad to do yep. this. It'll, it'll leave little shards of metal that'll get in the motor and it'll gum it up. When you um, run the trains, you don't really don't want to put this kind of track straight down on the carpet. It'll pick up carpet fuzz and it'll get in the engine and gum it up. So by having a four by eight? Yeah, I was, if you want to start off with a four by eight sheet of plywood um, to run that and it keeps it off the floor, it keeps it away from the worst of the dust and the hair um, that the engine because can pick up. This is, the, this is what provides electricity? Correct. DC electricity, 12 volts, mm -hmm. negative, positive. Right. And then the wheels pick it up. Yep. So, I mean, to clean the wheels, if you want to clean that, there are different um, uh, things you can use, track cleaning things. But a lot of times, just this little bit. Just rub it on the, you know, on this and have a little bit of a way to, to apply power to it. You know, a couple wires, maybe some alligator clips, and just clean gotcha. the wheels that way. It works. Um, same thing with the steam engine. Brilliant. And if you're like, want to make a permanent display, you've got the right shape of track, you would suggest actually uh, soldering, joining um, the tracks together. It, you, you can solder the, the sectional track like this. Um, in this case, these rail joiners are tight enough, it's not a huge problem, and you would tack it down very carefully. It's already got pre-drilled holes, uh -huh. um, so you do do that. If you're using flex track, yeah. and especially on the curves, you definitely want to solder it. Um, but that's where you um, lay it out for most of the curve. At, before you tack the very end down, you want it out straight attach the next section to it with the rail joiners where it's straight and then solder it straight. Yep. And then once, you know, a minute or so, once that solder is set, you just bend, bend it. it and it should be a relatively, a fairly right. smooth curve. Your trains will har hardly notice there's a joint there. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much. That was a, some great tips and to keep those trains running yep. all holiday season long. Sounds like a good idea. Thanks, Patrick. You bet. We'll see you next time on Home and Backyard.